It's time for a taste test. Lucy, stop trying to eat my hot dog. Elephants don't eat hot dogs. As we drive around here in Margate, New Jersey. <gasps> What's that? Over there on the right. Something, something big, something with tusks. Could it be? First thing you're gonna see right here, actually, that is not a sign you see every day. Especially in New Jersey. <laughs> Elephant crossing? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's something right up over there on the right. What is this? Holy Toledo, Batman. Parking for Lucy the Elephant and gift shop only. One hour limit. All others will be towed. And again, you're not going to see this kind of parking notification just anywhere. Oh, I'm going to. Uh, yes, we are. I have 90 minutes. It says 3 o'clock there. I messed up. Okay. To park here. The next tour is not until uh, 2 o'clock, though. That's fine. Yeah. And then if you get your tickets ahead of time, you get a discount at the snack bar. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So, uh, they're a well-oiled ship here. We got our Lucy complimentary visitor parking ticket. Time for us to get out and get our tickets for Lucy, the tour, and I think there's something actually new and improved for this summer. Let's do it. What's going on, adventurers, VKJ, vacation education? And we're coming to you again here from well, it's not exactly Atlantic City, it's Margate, but it's very close to Atlantic City. Behind me here is something super special. It is the first, the numero uno, roadside attraction in the entire United States. That's right, it's Lucy the Elephant. We're gonna find about all the secrets that lie within this awesome establishment. Of course with me, as always, I got the big KJD right here. What's up, guys? And right here is also Ellie the Bee. In a lot of different cartoons and in movies, elephants usually befriend kind of like mice. But in this episode, Ellie is just about as small as a mouse because Lucy is a little bit bigger than your normal elephant. We're inviting you to join us today on this adventure. Let's go! So as soon as you walk up here, you see it says, Welcome to Lucy. And we're going to take a little walk around here. Thing is absolutely gigantic. Looks fabulous. Some people up there on the top right now taking a tour. Wow. The thing is incredible. Always wanted to come down here, but we never had a chance to see Lucy in person. And looks like she has actually completed a newly a new renovation. Looks and looking very, looking very spiffy. Right here, right out front of the Lucy, it also says the other Lucy Bar and Grill, open seven days a week, 10 a.m., 5 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch. Also, down at the bottom, make a purchase at the Lucy Elephants Gift Shop and get 20% off your order at the other Lucy Beach Grill. Discounts everywhere. All right, so let's head in and get some tickets. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, how are you? Very good. All right, for you, when you, right when you walk in here, it says Carpenter's Walkway. Welcome to Lucy the Elephant, one of our country's national historic landmarks and the America's oldest roadside attraction. Dedicated to Sylvia and Edwin Carpenter, and they're the founders right there. Their first steps were taken in 1969, saved Lucy from the wrecking ball, and led to the way to restoration of the world's largest elephant. Oh, so it's the world's largest elephant too. Just, just breaking records all over the place. As you're coming inside here, I mean, the walkway literally takes you right underneath the elephant. I mean, have you ever seen a big elephant belly before? Now you have. The feet are gigantic. 
Oh, yeah. I'm getting some big elephant vibes. You know what I mean? The bigger the elephant, the better. That's what the big KJ always says. So now we're heading up into the Lucy gift shop where you purchase the tickets for the tour. It says right there, Lucy's gift shop. That's what I'm talking about. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, what's going on? Can we get uh, two for the elephant, please, next tour? Yes, our next tour is at 145. That's cool. I mean, two o'clock, sorry. That's fine. Just two adults? 15 minutes. Yes, yep. two adults, please. Is there any senior discounts? Only if you're older than Lucy. Oh, uh, <laughs> dang. No, I'm afraid not that old. <laughs> All right, your total is 17. You said two adults, right? Yeah, yes. 17 is your total. Okay. Wow. So cheap for all this excitement. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now there's some receipts. Lucy is doing some business. Well, it is summer and uh, right, the high season. Thank you. How many tours are there today, actually? We give 13 tours, uh, 13 tours today, and then on Sunday we only do 10. And okay. Here are your tickets. This is your receipt. And at 2 o'clock, you're going to meet right outside at Lucy's left rear leg. Now, before we go out there and experience Lucy, why don't we take a look around the gift shop? Usually, you do it after the ride. We're going to do it before the ride. It doesn't matter. It's all good. I know it's going to be great. It's going to be an awesome experience. So, so you're going to want to take home like a memento, a, you know, a little figurine, a shot glass. Oh, look. A chew toy. <laughs> it's not Hattie. Do they, is there like a Lucy Hattie? Like a, like, a, like a bad Santa Claus hat with Lucy the elephant on it? So that's Ellie's favorite thing to chew up. This is, this is Lucy's before her uh, makeover. Wow. Yeah. She's looking a little worse for wear, but now she is beautified. This place has everything, Lucy, that you never know you needed, but now after you see it, you just want it. I mean, you, what about a Lucy nightlight? You gotta have a Lucy, Lucy nightlight. Yep, right up here, some famous people. It's been here, Mr. Rogers. If you haven't seen the Mr. Rogers movie with Tom Hanks. I just watched it the other day. It is absolutely excellent. El Ellie's got a new hat right there. Is that Lucy? <gasps> no, it's Ellie. Wow, it's like a Halloween costume, but but it's entirely too hot out right now for that hat. I'll tell you that. It's You would die of heat exhaustion in five seconds. So let's see what else we got going on here. Ooh, I like this one. This is pretty cool. Got a lot of good stuff here. I know, I'm telling you. It's pretty cool. No, the, the stuff is really, I have to say, is that there's nothing really generic in here. Everything is really personalized to Lucy the Elephant. So they really went in on the memorabilia. Holy cow, transforming robot Lucy? No. Come on. More than meets the eye. Of course, they got your... Your, your sweatshirts and t-shirts says Lucy, a national historic landmark born in 1881. I like how they said that, born, not built. And then we blow bubbles on top of being a lightsaber. A elephant lightsaber. So if, if Lucy was in Star Wars, this is absolutely the weapon she would have. 100%, 100%. That's awesome. No question about it. No question about it. So look at this thing, look up close, and then you pull it back. Lucy, lightsaber. I'm going to put in the sound effects later. He's taking on the tour with you, battle all the kids. No, I'm just kidding. What did you say? Lucy goes to Philadelphia. Lucy goes to Philadelphia, is that like a children's book? Yeah. Whoa. She, she literally uh, goes to the expressway. Hargate. <laughs> she gets a cheesesteak. Of course she gets a cheesesteak. Here's another commemoratory plaque inside here. It says, Lucy, the Margate elephant, has been a national historic landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. Right there in 1976. It was inducted. Now she's kind of a big deal. Also, right down here in this glass case, it says, Tourism Excellence. Lucy the Elephant. Is this a Lucy lunchbox? I'm not sure. It could be a lunchbox. If it was a lunchbox, 
Wouldn't you like to take it to school? It's making me hungry. All right, so that's enough foolishness here in the, the gift shop. But chocked full of, of fun items to purchase after you have your Lucy experience or even before you have your Lucy experience. You know, you get it before, after. It's like it's like dessert. You can have it as an appetizer. VKJ does it all the time. Don't do that, though. <laughs> I'm not recommending that. Don't do that. This place even has a pond. And look at this. They got like dry, they got a smoke machine going on. And this is actually a very special pond because if you see right there, it says it's Lucy's Pond. You see that right there? I do think this is kind of hilarious though. So this right here says, welcome to Lucy. And we're looking at it from the street here. And I guess you have to place the elephant in a certain direction. There's no way around it. It has to face, you know, it's not like, you know, like a tower or something. It has to face a certain direction. And it's just hilarious that the loose, the Lucy Keister okay the caboose to the loose okay is actually facing this entrance so it's a very interesting perspective if you get my drift this right here is the backside of water no it's the backside of lucy don't be silly so this is from the opposite side and you can get an idea of how big it is there's my dad underneath of the elephant right there and there she is I think it was a very interesting artistic choice to take Lucy's trunk and put it into a, maybe a water bucket. It's so hot out here. She uh, definitely uh, could be drinking some, uh, some H2O. <coughs> Ellie, look, you got a friend. Lucy's history. Mom. So she was built in 1881 by a man named James Lafferty. And originally she was supposed to be used as a real estate gimmick to help Lafferty sell the properties he owned in the area. What he'd do is he'd bring his clients up to the top of Lucy to her howda and he'd point out the properties he owned that surrounded Lucy in hopes of selling them faster. But Lucy's a good five miles away from Atlantic City when the best way of getting here was by walking, horse, carriage, or train. So not a whole lot of people made their way all the way out to Margate just for the giant elephant, and Lafferty was forced to sell her to the Gerson family in 1902. They used Lucy as a restaurant, office, and even a tavern, although that was pretty short-lived after a spilled oil lamp almost caused Lucy to burn down. But luckily that didn't happen, and she was still used up until the 60s when a number of storms took their toll on her and she fell into disrepair. The city of Margate condemned Lucy and gave the Gersons an ultimatum. They either had to knock her down or move her to a different lot, as the lot she was originally standing on had been sold throughout underneath the crib. But the Gersons didn't want to deal with the hassle of moving or knocking down a 90-ton, 65-foot-tall elephant, understandably, so they donated her to the Save Lucy Committee, who had the task of going door-to-door -door fundraising until they had enough money to put Lucy up on stilts, to put wheels under her, and to tow her two blocks to where we are today. So that was July 20th, 1970, and after that, she was renovated and reopened, named a National Historic Landmark six years later, and she's been giving tours ever since then. So, as I open this door behind me, on the left, you'll see Lucy's original ticket booth, where tickets were sold for only 10 cents a seat back when she first opened her doors. And speaking of tickets, I will collect yours as you guys make your way inside. Yeah. 143 years old. Three adults. Two. So are you ready to experience <laughs> Lucy's leg? I mean, the elephant. If she doesn't lift it. <laughs> Going in. This is not an elevator. <laughs> this, is like, this is like Sagrada Familia. This is the original ticket, though. <laughs> you think so? That's what she said. Oh, original ticket booth. Oh, okay. Original ticket booth. Yeah, that's interesting. That was before the gift shop. Obviously. Of course, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going up a spiral staircase here into the elephant. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Ellie, how you doing down there? She's doing good. Yeah? <laughs> oh, at least the air, the air conditioning in here is really nice. All right, so we're almost up into the main part of the elephant. And there it is right there. Wow. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there you are. Whoa. Holy cow. 
So I don't know. How tall do you think the um, the ceilings are in here, Dad? Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. Maybe. Look at this. I mean, it is it is pretty spacious in here, actually. Look at this. Of course. Well, I can imagine that she needs constant maintenance. You know, she's a woman. <laughs> Constant attention. Well, it looks like we we learned a little bit, but now we have to explore on our own. So let's go walk around Lucy here and see what we can check out. Let's go. Ellie, hopefully this is the only time you're in the belly of an elephant. That's right. <laughs> Behind me right here is the timeline for Lucy the elephant. Let's go check that out. The Turkish Pavilion. It's about the building right back over here. Behind Lucy that lasted for a little while, but then finally got destroyed. It says right here, they charged video visitors 10 cents to tour the interior of the elephant back in the day. And here's a little timeline. Here's a little timeline down here of Lucy the elephant. It has 1881 all the way up to 2012. And you can pause it right here if you want to read that. Here is a plan for Lucy the elephant. So if you want to, wanted to build an elephant, if you wanted to build your own Lucy, that's all you need right there. There's the... There's the plans. Colossal elephant, eighth wonder of the world. Coney Island, now open. Unfortunately, forever closed. She was one of three elephants. Okay, so one was called Elephant, elephant Bazaar, and that was in South Atlantic City. Then Elephant Colossus, and that was in Coney Island. And Light of Asia, Cape May, New Jersey. This one, yeah, you think um, Lucy's large. Yeah. This was twice as tall. Yeah, this one right here let's, was 122 feet tall. It cost $65,000 to build. That was like millions back then. All right, now this one over here, what, it ended up becoming Lucy. Yep, yep later in life, uh, best, name is, best known as Lucy. She was 65 feet tall and cost 38000 to build, and she's still surviving. Unfortunately, Colossus is destroyed by fire in 1896. And then another one over here, the Light of Asia, 
was 58 feet tall, so it was the smallest out of the three. It only cost 18000 to build, and unfortunately, it got torn down in the 1900s. Now, people did live in Lucy for a little while. Right there is the famous miniature Lucy bathroom and bathtub. So this was, uh, was a home. Could you imagine? Live, you heard about the old lady in a shoe. You could be the older old man in the elephant. I know. So here's a couple little more information about Lucy right here. So the restoration begins. I think it's, they probably covered that pretty good in the video. Here's another a couple interesting pictures when Lucy was condemned. And there are some images right there of her when she wasn't looking so, so beautiful. There's another image where they were moving her from one of the blocks to the newest location here uh, where Lucy stands today. Here's one more image and she's looking real worse for wear. Thank goodness they saved her. Lucy the Elephant, like, uh, notice the Patreons, another picture. Looks like a little bit of a, maybe a letter. And of course you gotta have the Lucy the Elephant stamps. The official stamps. And this looks like Lucy the Elephant also likes some whiskey. Well, and you get thirsty, it is hot out here. What did you say there, Dad? I said, if you look out the eyes, yeah. These are the two eyes. Okay, the two eyes, the one right here, and the one right can, over here. You can see the, the water. You, you can see, see the water? The ocean. Oh my goodness, let's see that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to focus in on it oh, out there. maybe not. Oh, maybe I might be able to do it. Looks like, if you can you see the ocean out there, Adventures? I can see it from here, but it's hard to expose with the camera. Pretty cool. From Lucy's eyes to the Atlantic Ocean. There it is. And here's one view from Lucy on the opposite end. And now we're going to go up to the... You never know you were inside an elephant. I mean, you look at this, it just, I don't know, looks like an attic or something. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, it is curved, but that's the only... Indication. indication that, you know, it's, it's, it's an elephant. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to try to venture up here. So some more spiral staircases. Ellie is making her way up the final set of stairs to the top of the elephant. We're gonna ride the elephant today. All right, so we're heading, it's pretty steep, heading right up here. And then here we go. And we made it up to the top. Here comes Ellie, she's made it to the top of the elephant. She is the first dog ever in history to ride a giant elephant. Yeah, exactly. Wow, look at this. Holy mackerel. Now that's a view. We're gonna ride the elephant right into the ocean. Adventurers, check this out right here. With this view from the camera, you literally are looking right over top of Lucy the elephant's head. So if you were literally riding it, this is the view that you would get. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're gonna ride her right out into the ocean. So let's get a view of some of the other areas here. So it's got a nice view from up here. It's very nice. It's, uh, you can see all above the houses here. Oh, oh wait a second. There's another Lucy the Elephant that's competing with this Lucy the Elephant. I'm just kidding. It's no competition. But she's over there on the water tower, off in the distance. I'm going to zoom a little bit, but it's really far. I don't know if we're going to be able to really. So it's right over there in the distance, the Lucy the Elephant Water Tower. There goes another elephant. All right, we're heading back down here. Because once you go up, you got to go down. No jumping. No. <laughs> yeah. There's a faster way to get down, but I don't think you'd like it. Oh, yeah, one last thing. And of course, it's Lucy's secret peanut stash because elephants love peanuts and we've reached the door that takes us back out into the world where you're not inside of an elephant that might be the first and last time you ever walk out of a huge leg of an elephant safe to say after a hard day of scaling the elephant 
we are now famished. There's something that my dad wanted to try that this place might be known for. Might, uh, let's see what it is. It says right there, Lenny's Original Sweet Pepper Hash since 1935. Oh, and this is some of the other offerings right here at the other Lucy Beach Grill. Serving breakfast, burgers, hot dogs, featuring Lenny's Original Sweet Pepper Hash from 1935. Ice cream, water ice, and much, much more. If you want to give them a call, there's the phone number as well. We're going to go up here and we're actually going to try Lenny's Original Sweet Pepper Hash. I mean, it, it, it's it's so such a big deal. It's almost as big a deal as... Uh, hey, KJ, do you feel like somebody's watching us? I don't know. I don't... This place is all this place is all decked out in the Lucy right there. You got the Lucy elephant right there in the window. There looks like it's Lenny's where the where maybe the, the hash came from. That was the original right there. It says <laughs> You're in. Right. One, two, three. Vacation, Vacation education. education. Let's, Let's go! go. So right here is some other offerings. Like I said, Lucy, the other Lucy, Lucy breakfast. So you can get breakfast here too. They got breakfast sandwiches. They got smoothies. You get to come down and see Lucy. Yep. Doing a tour. Right. You're right at the beach. You're right at the beach. And you have this wonderful place here. You can actually sit at a picnic table right out on the sand. Yeah, or right behind here too. There's a couple yeah. of them tables too. Okay. So there's food. Food. Uh, and excitement. The, uh, the Lenny's hash thing, please. Yeah. Cool. How does it usually come? It usually comes on hot dogs. Yes, we'll take it on a hot dog, my friend. Okay. Yeah, we, we just wanted how it normally would come, how normally you would serve it. So on a hot dog would be fine. Can we have two of those, please? I'm really hungry. Coke. Yeah, it's cool. And is that for here to go? And as for here. There's your order number, we'll call now when it's ready. All right, great. Hold that, please. All of that deliciousness has come to $17 and we want to add in a tip, we can do that. So hit that 20% right there for the tip. I'm trying to hit it. I'm not sure if it's happening. It's not, a, oh, there we go. We have our hash ordered up. It's on its way out. The anticipation is, is killing me. What's our lucky number? A lucky number is number 37. I have to play the lottery. I didn't realize that when they gave you this number, 37, they're actually, they're gonna, gonna serve you right at the table. So this is, this is a very high class establishment right here. Lucy is, is first class all the way. I mean, you get to eat right in the, in the shadow of Lucy right here. There's, they got some picnic tables, all this action going on. Here we go, here he comes. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Doing good. How are you? What do we got here? What are, what are these again? These are Lenny's Whoa. famous pepper hash with the hot dog. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you yeah, so yeah, much. Oh, guys. thank you, man. Nice you too. Whoa! Look at this. And I can even read a newspaper. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Give it a little twirl. Give it a little twirl. I want to see the, uh, the the headlines. This is from April 14th, 1969. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very old hot dog. And here's mine right here. Wow. They, they do not skim on, on the, the hash. hash. <laughs> no, absolutely. So hopefully we're going to like the hash. Absolutely. <laughs> because if not. Well, I think I'm going to love the hash. All right, Dad, it is time to lick Lenny's hash. Now, that's a lot of hash. That's a lot of hash right there. Okay. Here we go. It's a different way to have a hot dog. <laughs> um, have you ever had a hot dog with hash on it before? It That's is the sweet. Has a little bit of peppery flavor to it. Okay. Is it kind of like? Is it kind of like relish? I guess so, like a sweet relish. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good description. Yeah, I think. yeah. You think so? Only no pickle. Well, maybe a little pickle. A little pickle. Good. I like it. I want another bite. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> we are at Lucy's Beach Restaurant, and right behind me here is still Lucy. She's hanging out with us here at the table, and it's time to try Lenny's famous hash hot dog since 19 what is it 35 so look at that right there look at the the dog oh man look at that 
That's incredible. All right, it's time for, it's time for a taste test. Lucy, stop trying to eat my hot dog. Elephants don't eat hot dogs. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of a, like a cabbage. It's like a, I don't know, it, it's, it's like a relish. Like that guy, I already said it to my dad. It looks like a relish, it tastes like a relish, but it, it, gets, it gets a little bit sweet, and then it kind of just kind of mellows out a little bit. So it's not like, it's not like too sweet, you know what I mean? Yeah, or too peppery. Or too peppery, yeah, yeah. They I really- say a pepper hash. Yeah, pepper hash, exactly. I do like, it. Lucy, stop trying to eat my hot dog, unbelievable. That, that elephant keeps on sneaking up on me, trying to eat my hot dog. Can you believe this? Hey, give me my hot dog. Give me my, give me my hot dog. Oh yeah. Delicious. So, here we go. All right, Allie, uh, I can hardly hold her back. Uh, yep. And away you go. Ooh. Ooh. Ellie likes the hash. Well, at least the hot dog. <laughs> we'll give her another, another oh my, bite oh. here. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. She's loving it. Made it herself. Do you want chocolate or the twist? Oh my I love gosh. Chocolate. Okay. Holy cow. Chocolate. Here you go. Thank so you nice. so much. Thank you. Uh, what kind do you want? Um, you know, I'll have the twist too, please. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Chloe. That's okay. That's okay. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Lucy and everyone here just gave us complimentary ice cream. Where does this happen? Nowhere. Look at that right there. So that's really wonderful. So we're here at the Lucy, the other Lucy restaurant here on the beach. And right now they're walking around giving out complimentary ice cream. And we just got served. Oh, more? More stuff? Yeah. And what's your name again? I'm Chloe. Chloe, nice Chloe, to meet you. Thank you, Chloe. Oh my gosh. Chloe is going crazy today. She's got cupcakes for us. Oh, you choose a good one for me. Which one do you think is the best? This one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, thank you so much. Because, because, you, because you're awesome. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, it's so, so sweet. Holy cow. So we're getting... We're, <laughs> This is crazy. Wow, Chloe's really hooking it up. Ice cream. Oh my goodness. A little a cupcake? This is probably at the beach here. This amount of ice cream, which is melting like crazy. <laughs> it's really hot out today. It's probably like at least five, six dollars with the ice cream. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easily here at the beach. Maybe even more. Eight, ten dollars. Man, this place is crazy. Lucy, 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 Lucy. So now it's time to taste test my... I have a, uh, a cupcake here. A mini cup. Mini cupcake. Just a little bite in the shadow of Lucy the elephant. Now you see the cupcake? Oh, uh, not the whole thing. Uh, now you don't. They can say, the kitchen and the kitchen. Let's go! I'm so sorry. I'm no, so no, 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 no. You, you, no, you guys are an integral part of the video, please. Now you're subscribed right there. Thank you. You're welcome. But before you go, before you go, I I I know I know you're. Hold on. Let me get over here. I'm coming. Right, I'm coming. I'm coming down there. Now, you did such a great job today. Okay, you gave us gave us such great service. The cupcakes, the ice cream. Okay, that I wanted to make sure that we gave you a little tip before we go here. Okay, this is for you. Thank you. All right. Oh, you're welcome. You're doing such a great job. Keep up the good work. I will. Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. All right. Oh, that's so sweet. Absolutely. Oh, you're very welcome. You. Have a great rest of your day. That's wonderful. Of course. Yeah. Bye bye. So one more time, we're looking at Lucy the elephant right there, and we're taking out. We're walking off of the other Lucy, the other Lucy Beach Grill. All right, so that's where, that's where we just ate at again, the other Lucy Beach Grill. Right here to our back, Lucy to our front. But goodbye, guys. Saying goodbye to the Lucy shop, the, Lu uh, the other Lucy Beach Grill here in Margate, right in the shadow of Lucy the Elephant. I'm not sure what's even better now. Is Lucy better or is the other Lucy better? It's, 
it's a hard choice. Anyhow, you don't have to choose. Just come here and experience it all. Adventurers, thank you so much today for joining us here at Lucy, the first roadside attraction in America. Oh, by, by the way, do you like my hat? Yeah, my, I love my, your hat. My safari hat. Yeah, I like your safari hat. If you're going to ride an elephant <laughs> on safari, right, safari you got to have a safari I think hat. It needs to be like put up on the sides like this. Well, good day, mate. Thank <laughs> you so much again for joining us today on Vacation Education. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification button. And again, there's another button down there. It's called the super like. If you super duper trooper duper elephant Lucy love it, then make sure you give it a super like, a couple dollars, a dollar, two dollars. Lucy will love you, and so will Ellie the Bee. Anyhow, we are out of here. Catch you on the next one. Some more vacation education fans up there. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Have a great day. They're eating on the other side of Lucy. <laughs>